Help now on the way for Colorado hospitals reaching a critical point. The number of people hospitalized with COVID right now in our state climbed again today to 1,535. And again, this was a new high for this year. The Department of Defense is deploying medical workers to Fort Collins to try and help out with a surge in cases there. Dylan Thomas first reported the news on CBSDenver.com. Dylan joins us now from Greeley tonight. So Dylan, employees in the ICUs there are sharing with you that they are truly getting near a breaking point. Yeah, Karen, they say that they're operating these ICUs at more than 100% capacity. And when they walk out of the hospitals like this one right behind me, they feel like they're stepping into a world that has left them behind to clean up the mess. I am more worried now than I have been in the pandemic. For the first time since the fourth surge of COVID-19 hit northern Colorado, we are hearing from a doctor who oversees the gravely ill. And heartbroken because when I see patients, it's when they are uh, often going on ventilators. And when people get that sick from COVID, there is a pretty high mortality rate. UC Health doctor Diana Breyer works in three ICUs across Weld and Larimer counties some of the hardest hit places in Colorado. I wish that people could see what I see in the ICUs. ICUs have been operating at over 100% capacity for months on short staffing. And the people that are left are tired. The fear is that if this continues, that we could actually be giving care that is not adequate. Unfortunately, models from the state suggest the surge is only going to grow into December. We could reach a point where we don't don't have enough beds and making those stresses of working the ICU worse, knowing that many of these hospitalizations and deaths were avoidable. There are people who are dying currently who um, would not be dying if they had been vaccinated. We had so much hope a year ago when the vaccines came out. We were hoping we would never be here again. According to CDPHE, those who are vaccinated are four times less likely to get COVID-19. They're 10 times less likely to end up in a hospital like this one I'm at, and they're 14 times less likely to die from COVID-19. The doctors here at UC Health tell us that an estimated one in four individuals who end up on a ventilator never wake up. Reporting live in Greeley, Dawn Thomas covering Colorado First. All right.